Hello, it's Elder here, and today I want to talk to you about this multi-tool that I picked up that's actually contained in a tactical pen that's made by the Atomic Bear. I'm usually not a fan of uh, just gadgets for the sake of gadgets, but the, the reason why I did like this one and gravitate towards it is the fact that it is made out of aircraft-grade aluminum, which is what I look for in a tactical pen. It has a tungsten tip, so uh, we could refer to that as a glass breaker or a skull crusher. And it also fits very good in the hand when deployed uh, in a reverse grip position. So once it passed that test and said, okay, that's good to go, and it actually contains some extras, all right, let's take a look and uh, go a little further. So let me go ahead and share the uh, other applications that are contained in this multi-tool. So one important thing about a tactical pen, let's say, is the way that it writes. Well, this one is a screw top, so it unscrews, revealing a uh, ballpoint pen that actually writes very well. So that's uh, definitely good to go. We mentioned previously the tungsten tip and uh, the glass breaker or the business end, especially if you are uh, utilizing this with uh, self-defense in mind. And this tungsten tip actually unscrews, revealing another multi-tool here that contains a flathead screwdriver, a scraper that's excellent for ferro rods, a hex key, and a bottle opener. Now, keep in mind that screwdrivers and most of the stuff that's on here, and once again, I could screw that into the tip, uh, aren't something that you're going to use on a daily basis. As I mentioned earlier, it's more for redundancy and in a pinch when you actually need something. So keep in mind when you are screwing to the right, uh, the tip is pretty much good to go. But if you do have a uh, stubborn screw that you're trying to unscrew and you're unscrewing to the left, there's a good chance that you're going to actually unscrew the tip itself. So once again, be aware of what you're doing here. If you're uh, using this for carpenter purposes, I would definitely suggest against that. All right, so once I did say that and uh, got that out of the way, hopefully it'll all make sense to you and uh, utilize these tools for the purposes that they were actually intended for. Uh, the other thing is that uh, I did speak to the Atomic Bear and they told me that they will be adding uh, various other uh, applications or tools that'll work uh, with this multi-tool setup that they have here. So uh, that's pretty cool. Go ahead, screw that, put it right back in. Now on the other side here, what we have is a flashlight. And when you first take it out of the box, you wanna make sure that you remove this little barrier here that's here to save your battery life. And just go ahead, remove that little piece of paper basically. And uh, screw the top back in. And uh, you have a little ball bearing type uh, nozzle here that when pressed, you get two settings. You get a standard flashlight setting and relatively bright for uh, you know something that's small and it's actually daytime so it's hard for me to actually show you but you can probably uh, see by the beam that uh, it can actually do the job. It's not just there for show. And by clicking it one more time, it can turn into a strobe feature if you ever need any type of uh, signaling and uh, you know things of that nature. I really don't think this is strong enough to blind somebody in a self-defense application, but once again, it could definitely uh, startle somebody that wasn't expecting it. And by depressing the uh, nozzle here, or ball point once again, it shuts off. It has a removable pocket clip, which is actually uh, pretty cool, so you could kind of position it wherever you want it. And those of you that uh, want to carry it in your pocket the same way that you would carry a uh, folder, or another knife, uh, it's definitely good to go in that respect. And once again, it comes with the lifetime warranty that uh, the Atomic Bear is known for. And pretty cool, you're getting a couple extra spares as far as your ink cartridges. So it does come with two extra spares and it comes with three extra batteries, uh, spare batteries, which is actually very cool. Uh, most people or most companies that I've uh, dealt with, certainly uh, to get one included in there is pretty impressive, but to get three plus the existing one that's in the tool to begin with, uh, that's pretty good to go in my book. So once again, if you are in the market for a multi-tool uh, and a tactical pen, go ahead and take a look at this one by the Atomic Bear. It uh, does a lot of different things. What it should do the best, it does do pretty well. And then once again, you have the little extra features for a pinch, for preparedness purposes, and as I mentioned, for redundancy. Once again, this is Helder. I hope that you found this review helpful.